Hello everyone, welcome to Patshala. Now in this video, we will see what is mean by sequential model and how to use recurrent neural network for identifying sentiments of movie review available in IMDB database. Okay, so till now we have learned what is mean by feed forward neural network and convolutional neural network. Both these models will not consider sequence of uh, the data that will be provided to it. They will also not store any kind of things related with the input sequence. Okay, so there was extensive need for uh, the models which will consider uh, the sequence. And this is exactly done by the sequential model. Sequential models are basically used when input sequence is important for example text so whenever we want to process a text for any activity like identifying sentiments we need to consider sequence sequence of words sequence of characters sequence of sentence likewise and this sequence need to be processed while performing this it is also important to keep a track where we have and what we have seen till now okay so that is exactly done by the sequential models there are various types of sequential model some of are recurrent neural network long and short term memory models that is lstm in short we have gated recurrent neural network gre in short so these models are going to provide importance to the sequence of the components present inside the text that is character word sentence and author text is processed word by word for example at different time stamp so for first timestamp, we are providing first word. For second timestamp, we are going to provide second word. Likewise, at nth timestamp, we are going to provide nth word of the uh, input text. For example, movie review. While doing this, it will maintain the step. If suppose I am going to provide uh, fifth timestamp input. So it is also going to consider what that particular model has seen till now. That is from timestamp 1 to timestamp 4. That is called as state. And finally, we are going to convert our input piece of text into a vector which will be provided as input to the dense neural network to perform the required task okay so in this uh, coding tutorial we are going to concentrate on recurrent neural network so let's see what is mean by recurrent neural network so as we have studied recurrent neural network is also going to consider sequence of input it is going to provide the inputs at particular timestamp it will generate the output at the same time it is just providing the state also so let's try to understand this with an example so i have a sentence i am happy today okay so at first time stamp i will be provided as an input then next timestamp we will provide m then next timestamp we will provide happy and ultimately at the last timestamp we are going to provide today as input to this model so so initially i is provided to the neural network now this recurrent neural network will generate the output and it will provide a state so state is just indicating what our neural network has seen till now so it will say that i have seen i and this i will be combined together with the next timestamp along with m so now the input will be state state includes i and input is m so i m will be provided as input again new state will be generated that state will be provided as a input to the next timestamp along with happy further processed output will be generated along with the state including information of i am happy 
now that state will be provided as input along with the current input today okay so and uh, output will be generated so if we are unfolding this then uh, we will find rnn block rnn block rnn block rnn block and inside this we are going to provide i output will be generated then state will be provided as input to the next timestamp along with the next word m output will be generated then state will be provided as input along with happy and output will be again generated and uh, state will be provided to last that is last timestamp along with the today output will be generated okay so this is basics of uh, recurrent neural network now output will be generated at each timestamp and output will be generated uh, at the last at the last timestamp these are the two variants of recurrent neural network means if you want to have output after each timestamp and you want to use that then this is one variant and another variant is you will get only one output after processing this whole statement okay at the last timestamp by the recurrent neural network this is second flavor so let's see how we can use this recurrent neural network for identifying sentiments of movie review provided by the imdb data set so in the first statement we have to import all the libraries and the data set required for activities so we are importing tensorflow as tf along with the layers and models provided by the tensorflow and at the last we are importing imdb from tensorflow.keras.datasets okay so imdb dataset is a movie review dataset that is pre packed with uh, the tensorflow.keras and uh, that is directly available for further processing okay so in next cell we have loaded imdb dataset with num underscore word is equal to 1000 so basically we are going to use top 1000 words those are used frequently in the movie reviews it is going to provide to you uh, two tuples first is train underscore x train underscore y second is test underscore x test underscore y first is related with the training second is related with the testing now if we are printing the fifth review from the training part then we are going to get a series of number means imdb data set is actually perform all the pre-processing tasks and they have converted that words into a vocabulary and that index is provided over here so the true label associated with the fifth review is zero so that particular review is negative movie review so let's see what is vocabulary so we can get that with the help of imdb dot get word index get word index method provides us the vocabulary generated by the imdb data set you can print that vocabulary also okay now some of the reviews are smaller and some of the reviews are larger in order to have all the reviews with equal length we have to pad the smaller reviews so we have imported sequence from keras dot preprocessing after that we have provided max words is equal to 500 means in from the each review we are going to consider only 500 words if the review is smaller than 500 then we are going to perform padding over there 
so for padding we have to use pad underscore sequence method provided in the sequence module it takes two parameter first is training or testing and second is the max length that we are going to consider so max length is 500 so whichever the review is smaller for that we have to pad zero now let's define our model while defining our model we have specified that our model will be sequential one means the output generated by the current layer will be provided as input to the next layer so that is indicated by model is equal to sequential after that in that model we are going to add the layers so first layer is embedding layer embedding layer takes first parameter is how much words we are going to consider so we are going to consider thousand words from the vocabulary so that is provided as a first parameter second we are specifying the embeddings what should be the size of embedding job of embedding layer is to learn the embedding from the input but what should be the size that we have to specify explicitly so we have specified that our embedding size will be 32 and as usual after that we have to pass the input length since this is the first layer of the model input length is equal to max words that is 500 words in each review we are going to consider so the output of the embedding layer will be provided as an input to the next one according to the reviews so next layer is simple rnn simple rnn layer is present inside tensorflow.keras.layers so it is simple recurrent neural network and it is considering the inputs at specific timestamp okay so simple rnn we are using 100 units of simple rnn okay next layer is again simple rnn where we have taken 50 units after that again we have created simple rnn where we have provided 25 units now while defining the sequential model with simple rnn we have to take care that except last rnn layer we have to provide everywhere return sequence is equal to true basically return sequence is equal to two is used to distinguish the two flavors of simple rnn that we have studied in first flavor we will generate output at each timestamp and in second flavor we are generating output at the last timestamp written sequence is equal to true that will provide output of current recurrent units to the next recurrent unit at every timestamp at the last we have added a dense layer with one neuron one neuron is sufficient to perform the classification at the last we have printed the model summary with the help of model dot summary we can see that input will be provided to the embedding layer then three simple layers and ultimately at the last we have used dense layer so 55776 parameters are learnable those will be learned during training we have cre created a model now it's time to specify how we are going to train our model so we have used optimizer is equal to rms prop loss is equal to binary cross entropy and matrix is equal to accuracy then we have to train our models so for training we have used model dot fit and inside that fit we have passed the actual training along with the actual output epochs is equal to 10 batch size is equal to 128 validation split is equal to 0.2 so we can see that accuracy is increased from 50 percent to almost 80 percent validation accuracy is also increased from 50 percent to 75 percent and at the last we have printed 
the training validation accuracy and training validation loss so we are getting output like this so in this video we have seen what is mean by sequential model and how to use simple recurrent neural network for identifying sentiments of given input text thank you for watching